Hello friends, welcome to MS Optical Cast. In this uh, video tutorial, we are going to see what is group policy processing mode and uh, then we will check that how to apply group policy processing mode. As we know, group policy has two main configuration. First, uh, user configuration and second one is a computer configuration. Accordingly, the computer policy is applied to the computer despite of the logon user and the user configuration is applied to the user despite of computer where he is logged on. So what is group policy processing mode? Group policy processing mode applies alternate user policy when a user log on to a computer affected by this type of policy. The policy directs the system to apply the set of group policy object for the computer to any user who logons to a computer affected by this policy. It is intended for special use computers such as those uh, in uh, public places computers or uh, somewhere you can say unsecured computers where you must modify the user policy based on the computer that is being used. Now, Let's see which scenario. Now, that is the other scenario. Now, in my domain, I have uh, two OUs. First, that is a HR user OU, and second one is a HR computer OU. Under HR user OU, I have uh, all users from HR department, as well as under HR computer OU, I have the, all these computer account which is used by HR users. So on that both OU, I created a GPO. Let's for example, uh, let's take HR user have a GPO one, as well as HR computer OU have a GPO two. So on HR user OU, I have a two type of config configuration. That is computer configuration one and uh, user configuration one. Similarly, on GPO two, I have a two part. First computer configuration two, as well as user configuration two. Now, suppose if loopback processing of group policy is not enabled and our user from HR OU is going to log on to our computer from uh, HR computer OU, then this will be the true. That is, so overall the policy largely applied on this scenario is computer configuration from HR computer. And uh, user configuration will apply from uh, GPO one. So again, we let's see what exactly when user log on to this computer from HR computer OU and user is from HR user. So that time, computer configuration two will be applied on this computer as well as user configuration one will apply to this user. Means that will be the sum will be computer configuration two means G from GPO two. And user configuration one from GPO. So let's test that. So coming back to the demonstration where I have a domain that's my lab dot local, and we have a HR user OU. We have a two user Jaisa as well as Pal Modi. And under HR computer, I have a two computer account uh, SRT CLI zero one and SRT CLI zero two. Under group policy management console, already I created a two GPO that is GPO two. For HR computer, and when already I set a policy under configured configuration, that is local security policy about interactive logon messages is there. Uh, do not display last username, and that is currently enabled. And uh, interactive logon text messages are there. This and uh, under means this is, this is our uh, computer configuration two, and this is under user configuration. I specify remove the task manager, and that policy is enabled. And second, limit profile size, and that is limited to. 1 GB, so nearly 1 GB. Similarly, under HR users, already I created a GPO and give a name GPO1. And uh, similarly, the computer configuration is empty for GPO1. That means we have a computer configuration one. And under user configuration one, I just set a policy that is lock the taskbar and remove the clock from notification area. So user uh, GI from HR user is going to log on to HR computer and let's see what is the last uh, policy applied on that scenario. So coming back on my Windows 8.1 machine and as you are seeing 
uh, we have a message authorize access only and this is the warning because we set a uh, policy at hr computer and that is the security policy which is currently applying so okay and now uh, specify the username that is we have a j dot sa and specify his password done so now we are on a windows 8.1 machine and let's check see already we noticed that this policy is applied but what about this when so remove the task manager let's check on 8.1 and here is the option see task manager user is able to open the task manager and that means that policy is not currently applying and this is our scenario where we specify user only user configuration one will be applied to that user not from uh, this configuration so this is the policy which is applying and as well as this is the policy let's check that uh, we said user configuration under gpo1 is that lock the taskbar and if you check over here taskbar is locked and second policy which we specified is remove clock from notification area if you check over here there is no clock and if you want to try to bring it on uh, no nothing is not possible so this is the normal mode but the policy is applying but if we have group policy processing mode and there are no, two modes are there one is a replace mode and second one is a merge mode so now let's enable the loop back processing of group policy for hr computer OU. in this case if user log on to the computer the policies apply in the following ways and that time we have a under replace mode the user configuration will will not apply regardless users gpo and that time the only policy which is applying on computers user configuration that will be applicable to this user so let's see how we can do that and how we can enable a group policy replacing mode on hr computer ou gpu so let's enable uh, group policy processing mode with uh, replace mode so under like computer configuration uh, and uh, expand admin to templates and the system you will find the group policy here is and there you will find group policy look back processing mode we have to search that configure here is it configure user group policy look back processing mode and we are going to specify the replace mode okay so enable it and that's the replace mode that is saying that uh, if you select replace replace indicates that the user setting defined in the computer's group policy object replace the user setting normally which is applied on the user and i just set apply okay and close this okay so let's update the policy on uh, client computer and just going to run gp update command okay then just log out from user account and again i will log on to the computer with j dot sa and here we go now if you see task manager is gone and lock task bar is enabled and that means this is the policy which is currently applying on the user okay remove the task bar as well as the policy is also for profile size now if we run rsop.msc to check that rsop.msc which policy currently applying on under user configuration let's see that and here we go under user configuration select the property and select all this checkbox if you are saying gpo2 is currently applying gpo2 is currently applying and here we see that is coming from scope of management hr computer not the user gpo which is applied from hr users and that is the uh, group policy loop back processing replace mode okay so this is it and that is the policy it is not applied 
unknown reason because of group policy replace mode so this is the replace mode now we have a second mode and uh, that is loopback processing merge mode in the case of merge mode that time the computer as a computer we have a like for example if you see over there when user from hr users ou will log on to a computer account from hr computer that time if you enable a group policy loopback processing mode with merge mode that time this policy will apply and so computer configuration from computer ou user configuration from uh, computer ou and as well as user configuration from hr users and that time policy will be user configuration policy will be combined from uh, computer ou as well as user ou and that is the merge mode so let's see uh, what happen when we enable that mode so again going to add the gpu expand the policy administrator templates and the system you will find out the group policy and over there find group policy loopback processing mode just enable and this time i am going to select a merge mode i click on apply click on ok click on close this tab and coming back on a windows 8 i am going to update the policy by using gp update command Okay, here we go. Again, I'm going to log off from this account and uh, log on to compute this computer account again by using GI SAR credential. Okay, so now as we are seeing, task manager is not available as well as log the taskbar is not available, and uh, similarly, the warning message is there. And if we run rsop.msc, click close. And now, if we check under user configuration, select property, and here you find out GPO2 and GPO1 both applied on this user account. Now, as you are seeing, GPO2 has a more priority than GPO1. So, in case of conflict, the user's policy from HR computer OU have precedence, higher precedence, you can say. Because the computer GPOs are processed after the user's GPO and they have a precedence if any of the settings conflict. So that's why GPO2 is listed first and GPO1 is listed over there. So this is the uh, all about group policy loopback processing mode and uh, what are the mode, how we can apply it on a particular OU when we have a requirement for the same. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you.